Okay, hello everyone, it's Musical Year, and I am back to tell you guys on how I sprite, because last time I just gave you guys a simple recolor instead of actually spriting anything. Hopefully I'm in a better mood and can spray today, um, because I do get in my bunks where I cannot spray, and I've had no internet all day. I want to do something really fun and really exciting, and I thought I'd film myself spriting something for you guys. Now, I already got my breaks and spray because we're doing a breaks and spray today, and there you go. So this is a normally white sprite, which means it has a lot of black outlines, and you need to get, and when I do have to loosen this up, it does get gray. So let me go, and I'm going to go look up Bendy and the Ink Machine. Hello! Yes, that is the actually based on the first challenge. So yes, I'm actually going to look up inspirations for him. If you did not know, that's what I did the first time, and I'm trying to figure out what would he be. I mean, I can always have him be in a dress, no one comment on it because, I mean, it breaks in. Or, or I can do overalls to signify Boris, or I could even do like a halo for Alice or something. But, I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> now, I do even take inspiration, um... You can ask any of my friends if I do, because I really do take inspirations for these kind of things. So, like, one of my inspirations, um, I would do this one, but god, that's hard. Huh? It, oh my god, if those are real shoes, I want to buy them. Sorry, I'm getting off track. I'm just trying to find some inspiration that I think... I can do. I think I might just go ahead and do Alice Angel. And so, that would require a dress. Let's see what we can do. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to get this dress done. Uh, now we do go over this a couple times because I'm really, I hate the silhouette. And the figuring on it is horrible. Oh, it's supposed to be a flowy dress. Oh, okay. So, it has to be a shoulder length dress. And trust me, this kind of dress is actually really hard for me to do. And I'm honestly pretty sure breaks and will avoid this kind of thing because it breaks in for Pete's sake. Like, He's adorable. He has this little vibe to him. Like, Brayson has this little vibe where he's just like, I don't care. And like, that kind of thing. Now, I am going to erase this. And I do go back in, and I'm like, okay, I need to do this, like... Now you guys can see, this is not the perfect silhouette. Now this does happen a lot, and I'm going to tell you guys, this does happen quite a bit when I'm trying to get the silhouette done. I have to sacrifice a lot of things. Ah, shoot. So, as I'm going back in and shaping this out, I will go back in and fix the silhouette of the dress, that kind of thing, just to make sure it's okay. Though I think I'm going to do like a little outline to kind of separate the dress, the sleeve, and that kind of thing. Just 
so you can't really tell that this has been like well you can tell it's been edited but you know that's beside the point all right and so i'm going to take a lighter color and do that do i am i happy with this kind of I'm trying to figure out how I can fix it because it does not look like what I want it to. And that's just because of how indecisive I am. You know, it may look really good to you guys, but to me, it doesn't look good. I'm a very harsh critic of myself. And that's one thing I hate about myself is that I am so harsh on how I do things. So I'm like Let's see if that looks better. Okay, that kind of looks better to me now. Now that I'm looking at it. I want to be summer. Sorry guys, I'm just getting myself in this. Actually? Yeah, yeah I like that slimmer kind of thing. But the reason why is because of how it looks. Because guys, trust me, this is hard to do. I still have to do another spread on it, but I want to get my start at the sun first because obviously I've got a big thing to fill out for my own. So everything is filled out with white. And we're going to go back to our reference image. And she has like a little horn. So we're going to draw a little horn on Breaks in, you know. He's the devil. Just kidding. He's not the devil, but. You know, we, we just gotta think of him as one right now. Though since his muzzle is kind of white, I just realized that we're gonna go in with like a grayish color just to fill this in right now. And we're gonna go back, and we're gonna fill that in, and we go back in and we go right here where we had our horn. Now I am gonna go back in, shape this up to look accordingly. Okay, so now we got that, and she does have a little bow on her, so we're going to shape our little bow. Now you may be wondering what musical you're doing this in. Yes, I know. I'm going back in, and I'm going to shape it like how I want it to be shaped. But here we go. I kind of want to give Strixen a slimmer look. No. Okay, I'm just... I'm just trying to make sure it seems kind of accurate to like how the picture looks. But then again... No. I kind of like the... I kind of like that before. Sorry guys, I'm like my harshest critic. Now the dress is kind of blackish, but I never really want to do. If I done a black outline I, and I want to do black, I cannot do that. So what I do is I do that. That might seem really weird to you guys, but it actually helps in the end. Because I've been working with monochromatic colors recently. And it kind of helps out when you're doing this kind of thing. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to redo this color because it seems too lightish, like it's very light and I want to kind of play on that color like it's just at the top. 
Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. No, I need that. No, you don't want to. I'm going to give you guys this little tip. You do not ever want to do a. So you have like a sprite and you're doing like that is the outline. Yes, I know this looks like a better dress than the Bryson one, but shut up. Now, say you want to, you're doing a light outline, you have a dark background, that clashes with each other. Trust me, I know it does. So you want to take your, so I'm going to just take the color, and I'm going to take this color. Trust me, this really clashes. Are you kidding me? And you want to do that. So then you invert it. So you're like, oh, I want to do this as a color. Um, so I'm going to color this white real quick so we can get the outline redone. So then you go back in, you refill this. Now I'm giving you guys little tips as I'm doing this, by the way. Um, take in consideration, I'm not a pro. This is how I officially do this. And a lot of you guys were interested, like... How do you do this? So you see, that only is okay, but you want to make it a darker color. So you want to make it something that matches that. So see, if you do a darker color, I kind of think that would be better for you, and it would not clash as much as you kind of see it does now. Now here we go, we're going to go into the line. I am so sorry, I just got spooked. So we're going to go in the outline of the... Now, it's supposed to show her shoulder. I don't really care to show her shoulder. But here comes one of the more trickier parts. The mouth. Now, I'm going to go in and I'm shaping a Brakeson's face for this part because this is going to be very difficult. Trust me. I didn't go to art school for nothing. I actually didn't go to art school at all. What you want to do is you want to give that kind of face look. You want it to seem very intricate. While also giving off this little vibe of, oh, that doesn't look like it's supposed to. And mind you, I'm shaping this with breaks in its mouth. Now I'm going to erase, shoot, I'm going to erase his original mouth. So when doing this, you actually create something different. So it's close to his eye. So it's actually close to his eye. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with the white and I'm going in <laughs> and it kind of now all you need is the halo now you see I don't do really shading so what you need to do yes I do black outlines but I just think that personally looks better So what I'm doing is I'm taking this and I'm going to erase any color here. little bit more out here as I realize like when I'm doing this sometimes I'll like realize oh crap I want to do it like this I want to do it like that here we go like it actually comes together 
Now this is based on fan art. Mind you, the original character design. Let me go up to here. I'm going to show you guys the name of the character. Her name is Alice Angel. Aiden, don't hate me for this because I made her look beautiful. This is not the Alice Angel I'm basing her off. This is the Alice Angel I'm basing her off. Now, the halo is supposed to be sunk in. I did not do that, but you know what? It's okay. I'll add this second horn. Her face, like, she has a little misformity, and I don't really want to do that. I want to combine both Alice's into making this. This is her in the game, Bad Alice. <clears throat> I really do like her design, I just need to fix her eye. So Brakeson has this bad eye now because he looks like this. And I think in the second, like I didn't put it in the script because I hadn't designed any of this yet. And I decided I wanted to base this off of Bendy and the ink machine. Like, this is my <laughs> little design. It's a very fun thing to do for me. I really do enjoy this. Um, I've never really taught anyone how to do what I do. I just go with the flow. That's how I function. And I don't think you guys understand how much I function. And so... I gotta make her second horn. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw that. We're gonna go back in and fix this. And then we're gonna color it a grayish color. And then we're gonna go back to black. Get that up there. And you got the horns. Now I kind of want, I didn't want to do the second angel hair because the, it's slinging into the hair and that just doesn't work on Brixen's figure. Oh yeah, by the way, I have this pop figurine and I should have referenced, referenced it because I do have it. But she has a little mole on the side of her face. Well, Brixen, you can't do it on that side because mm, you, you guys see this, right? And so her mouth is kind of caved open, and it's caved to the side. So, this is how you do a Alice Angel one, but that's without the shading. I want to give a little shading somewhere. I kind of want to give a little shine on the outfit. Like, how do I explain this? I cannot even use this. There we go. Okay. So I kind of like to make, there is a little shading at the top, and I want to make it a bit more, you know, noticeable, kind of, kind of not. I'll fix it in a second. I just realized a mistake over here, and that was supposed to be black. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I get in my zone, and I focus so much. And I was realizing, like, when I was making this, like, oh, crap, I've done some things wrong. Or I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes that will happen. And sometimes I just go in and I go back and I'm like, okay, that doesn't look okay. This needs to be more like that. <laughs> And I do do darker shades. Now some people recommend I do it in a different color, which is highly recommend you do. I'm just not that well versed in shading. So I tend to do it like that. But then again, that's just me, guys. Don't follow my footsteps in shading. I'm just really bad at it. And I will get criticism from people who are actually really good artists, like... That's not how you shade, like, and mind you, I am totally a noob at this. Someone said I'm going to be a graphic designer, I'm not that good at all. 
people walk long enough to be a graphic designer, by the way. So hush up. <laughs> um, you know, I'm just working with MS Paint with what I got. And, you know, it's just, I like working with it. It's nice and it's fun. And it works really well for what it's for. And, you know, I'm just adding in a little shading where I need it. In some places, I don't even need shading, but I want to add a little touch to it to make it look a bit neater. So once you're done, go and you save it. And I gotta get rid of that address Brayson. So we're gonna save it to Brayson Challenge. Alright. And then so then we're gonna get this. And now that we saved it, it's a good idea to resize the dress, the whole thing. So, I'm gonna... Now, only... This is the only sprite that's really been very ambitious for me. Because, trust me, this is actually more ambitious than I usually am. And I really do think this paid off because it looks very nice. And I really enjoy it. And so then you go to your paint.net. And you go in, you open it. And you're just like, okay, so I need breaks in challenge. And what I'm going to do, and you'll see why I did some of this. Um, <laughs> some of the reason I do black backgrounds is because of when I have to take out the white. If you do like, this kind of gray is fine, but if you do like a very light gray, like how I did them, that it's very spotty. Like it's not a good kind of, how do I say it? You can't delete a background like that. And you... It's just really bad. So here is the finished product. I really hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!